Alright, so I am at negative 2.5 uh, EV. And it's helping a little bit, but like that, un those, that unco oncoming traffic. It's not really helping, it's just a wall of light. <laughs> a wall of light! Yep, this is the same as the other one, as the option prototype. It's a little better that I can control the EV value. So if you like put the EV value back to zero, like, you can't drive like this. It's too bright. It's a wall of light coming at me. And those are just brake lights turning on. But I have to, like, cycle through back to negative 2.5. The frame rate is frame rate is better. Oh, what is this? That's thirty frames a second. That's sixty. And then guys nice, ninety. Ninety is smoother. There's still a little bit of like I don't know if I really call it rolling shutter, but it's definitely uh, some lag. I guess I turn my head, the uh, image kind of like slowly catches up. And the lens just can't really like focus really sharp. Also, this is like full moon, a little bit of cloud coverage, but still there's lots, lots of light and this image is really grainy. Ugh, look at that. Drive lights out. Also, it's really hard to judge distances with this thing because... Not because of that lack of depth perception, but the fact that, um... What should we call it? Uh... It's just... The lights. It's really hard to see the, what's in the lights. Let me stop Look at that. That's I can't see. That's a, a solid wall of light. Meanwhile, I can see there's at least three cars with my unaided eye. Can't read that sign. It's too bright. Yeah, see? No high dynamic value or high dynamic range. Can't read that sign. Can't read signs. Night vision, you'll be able to see, read those signs. You have high dynamic range, so even though there's bright lights shining on stuff like reflective signs like that, you would still be able to read the sign, but not with not with Opsin. And yes, it's a monocular. You can use your unaided eye to read, but we're not talking about benefits of having monocular versus a binocular vision system. I'm talking about just the Opsin and its inability to have high dynamic range. And it's not a uh, uh, problem with the option, it's just digital CCD sensors in general. You cannot have high dynamic range, it doesn't exist. Unless you do a lot of post-processing, have multiple images, all taken at different values, and then kind of blur them together. Can't read that sign. Yeah, lights out, that becomes a wall of light, can't see shit. That becomes a photonic barrier. Very easy to have photonic barrier problems with the option. All right, what my testing site? I mean, it's a full moon out, so there's a whole heap of light, so. This is like the best case scenario for the option. Um, I was here last night with the Sonics Aurora and I don't see a difference. Oh, Moonbow. That's cool. There is a Moonbow right there. Moonbow. 
uh, yeah, not entirely impressed with this thing. We'll have to see what it does in really dark lighting conditions, but I'll be honest, I'm not going to be using an Aurora Pro in really dark environments. I wouldn't use this either. I would just use night vision, especially for the price. I'll use analog night vision.